Hello and welcome back to more Let's Play Fallout 2. In the last episode, I was just about to uh, say hello to the scooter outside and then uh, try to defend some Brahmin at the Ma Modoc Brahmin pastures here. Uh, you see, there's a pack of uh, wild uh, rabbit dogs going to attack the herd. And I gotta be pretty quick about uh, trying to save them because the ramen don't last long. Let's do it. Now, Sulik, uh, yeah, just don't die, whatever you do, man, please. <laughs> this might not turn out well. I love this song. It's a really good song. Quite relaxing. Yeah, see, they don't, they don't stand a chance, really. They usually don't fight back. Come on. Oh my god, they're, they're fucking Sulik up. Indeed, so look indeed. God damn, he sent that motherfucker flying. Knocked him on his ass.
Don't punch them. You have a tool. Yeah, now, now it's a game of, uh, let's see if I can catch up with them, you know what I mean? Just gonna stay over there, so look, alright. Oh, where's that guy going? Holy shit. Go get him, man. <laughs> it's not what I was going for, but okay. There you go. Ah, uh, shit. Um. There you go. Looks like I killed them all. Great. Alright. That's it. I think we did alright. Didn't do great. Could have done better. But, you know, you do the best you can on that one. I knew you'd be able to handle it. Let's see now. Are you a thousand for completing the job? Of course. Three Brahmin, Brahmin got killed due to your carelessness. Add 100 per Brahmin. You get your rewards is 700. Don't even bother to lie about the number of Brahmin killed. I had one of my boys follow you out to watch from a distance. Uh, yeah, it's fair enough. Whatever. Thanks, fair enough. He didn't mention the price, you know what I mean? Who, me? 
I do odd jobs around here. Surely nothing worth talking about. She flutters her eyes at you. Would you like to know more about you? I'm really touch. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Can I ask you a few questions? Heard any good rumors? You've come to the right place. This town is so boring. There's nothing else to do but gossip. And she keeps talking for a while. And sometimes later, sometime later, you're able to get a word in. Tell me about Davin. His family. I don't spread rumors about my own family. All right, fair enough. See ya. Yeah, basically, if these are the characters that uh, are able to have a relationship with. Uh, the player character, uh, this guy, if you have a female character, and this uh, young lady here, if uh, you have a male character, I won't be doing it because well, uh, neither of them last long in combat. <laughs> uh, okay, see ya. Who's this person? I don't remember her being there. Okay. Nice doggy. Uh, woof, woof, woof. Laddie jumps on you and starts to lick your face. What a nice doggy. Hmm. Miss your son. I hope I have enough ammo. Oh shit. I'm running quite low on ammo. <laughs> what you be needing? Uh some ammo, please. You do have plenty of ten millimeter. So if worse comes to worse, I'm going to have to uh switch to a ten millimeter pistol. I'll take, I'll take this uh, time to talk to uh, Sulik since I'm here. I said I was going to do it and I forgot to. Uh, Sulik, can you consult the spirits, spirits for me? Be willing to talk. What you want? What did they tell you about this place? He who's with the spirits isn't. That's what they said. Uh -huh. What you be need? Spirits be willing to talk. Look for the vision that does not belong. Hmm. What you be needing? Well, seems that's all we can talk to him about. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so on to this mysterious farm. Oh, wait a minute. What the fuck is this? I don't remember any of this. What is this shit? Oh, yeah, now I remember. I've been to the ghost, far the ghost farm. Scary. I gotta slow down when I'm reading. I keep fucking up. Welcome to Rose's Bed and Breakfast. My, aren't you a strapping young man? What can Rose help you with today? Um, I must hear things working here. Mind if I ask you a few questions? I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm quite busy serving customers. Maybe if you ordered something. <laughs> In that case, I'm starving. What do you have to eat? That's what I like to hear. A growing young boy needs to, keep, needs to eat to keep up his strength. And I can tell you haven't been eating properly. Just sit right down and look at the menu. 
Jesus, look how much water is. Holy shit. Give me some Brahmin fries. Uh, we have a contest on who can eat the most Brahmin fries so far. The record is 36. Should break the record? Nah. Just one. Can I see questions now? Sure, we'll make a quick deal. I don't want to keep the other customers waiting. There's only like two people in here. Uh... Have you ever heard of a geck? Did you say a geck? No, I can't say that I have. I have heard of good soup recipe uh, that requires three geckos, but no, I haven't heard of anything about a geck. Uh, more questions. Uh, another Brahmin fry. Uh, tell me about the ghost farm. She shivers in voluntary. Stay away from there. I have heard tales from travelers about rotting bodies tied to stakes and glowing shapes moving through the fields at night. I don't know how much of this is true, but I do know a while back Carl moved out there and hasn't been seen since. Uh, we know where Carl is. Carl's at the den. This town is dying. So I don't think there's anybody else left to really talk to in this town. I could be wrong. There might be someone here. This is a Brahmin pen. What is this? I reckon if we had some explosives. I could blow that away. Yeah. Alright, is there a way out? Yeah, what's this place? See an old man. He makes a prune look fresh. I didn't steal the watch, so stop coming over here and harassing old, uh, poor old Farrell. Uh, watch? What are you talking about? Everybody's accusing me of stealing my best friend Cornelius's gold pocket watch. Me and Cornelius have been friends as long as I can remember. Would never take his watch. I've searched everywhere, hoping to find it so we can be friends again. But I've had no such luck. Uh, that's really. Uh, I'll come. Would you really? Yeah, I'll, I'll look for it if I can. Uh, nobody will help me because they think I stole the watch. It would be nice to have somebody on my side for once. I've already questioned everyone about it, but it won't hurt to ask everybody again. Maybe they'll tell you something and tell me. It also won't hurt to poke your nose around uh, Rose's bed and breakfast. Cornelius is notorious for putting stuff down and forgetting where he put it a minute later. Now what? God damn it! What do you do around here? Well, I must have putter around in the garden trying to make those damn plants grow without water. I can't do that now because something big has moved in and I can't seem to get rid of it. Uh, and, I'm, and to top it all off, nobody will help me because they think I stole Cornelius' watch. Uh, hmm. More questions. Uh, you mentioned something about a watch earlier. Uh, everybody's accused me of stealing it. Uh huh, yeah. Who the fuck is Cornelius? I don't remember where he is.
Welcome to Rose's Bed and Breakfast. My name is Rose, I mean Cornelius, and I run this bed and breakfast. Can I help you? Uh, I'm looking for a gold watch. <laughs> then why don't you ask that no good feral? Maybe he'll he'll sell you the watch he stole from me. Now, if you don't mind, I'm quite busy. I have to, I have to shave the Brahmin. Um, Alright, see you later then. Oh my. Yeah, we're gonna need some explosives. I know where to get one of those. It's gonna cost me a lot of money though. Come on, Zulik. What you be need? Wait a minute. Before I do this, maybe I can steal it. Maybe I can be sneaky. All right, looks like I got it. Sweet. We got success. Okay, now this is a very delicate situation here. Uh, I don't remember how you do this. I think you go inside first. Because you can't stay in there. You cannot stay in here. And you do this. Oops. That didn't work. Didn't have enough time. Maybe uh, a minute? No. Two minutes. Two minutes. I need two minutes. Uh, longer than that? I mean, come on, it doesn't take two minutes to climb up a fucking ladder. About three... Three minutes.
Oh, that's better. Yeah, we're gonna have to fucking, uh... Your feet really itch. What the fuck? My feet really itch. Uh, I think that did it. Look at all this shit everywhere. Um. Okay, I'm not crippled, so. So what I'm gonna do is rest until I'm healed. Rest until we're both healed. God damn it. A nasty bunion on each foot. Um, is that due to the radiation? That must be from the radiation, yeah. Um... He has rat away. Seven current radiation level. Okay, yeah, I'm not radiated any longer. It must have been the radiation. Uh, just in case. <laughs> Let's go take care of this beast. This mole rat. It seems to be. God damn, he's fast. Look at him. <laughs> All right, easy enough. That's, that's about it. Well, no, I still have a few more shots. I think I'm going to equip my, my 10 millimeter. Oh. No, I don't want to use armor piercing. Do you have anything to say about this place? Spirits be willing, he who's with the spirit. What nah. you be need? <laughs> okay. Cornelius's gold watch. Nice. Seems to have accumulated a nest here.
Good news. Is this the watch that you were looking for? Let me see that. Yes, yes, this is. You said a rat living down in the sewage hole. And you climbed down there to retrieve it. Ugh. I'm going to go give this to Cornelius right now. Now we can be friends again. Thank you. Sweet. We got a level up. Hmm, what do I want now? That sounds pretty good. And the bonus move sounds even better. I think I'm gonna get bonus move. Oh, whoops! Forgot to put my points in. Let's go. Go to the ghost farm. Now oh, check all this out, huh? These bodies appear to be fake. Nothing but dummies covered in Brahmin innards. That's interesting. Very interesting indeed. So yeah, we're gonna, well, I'm going to end the episode here, and we will find out where the hell we are in the next episode, and wait for that motorcycle to pass as well. That was a good moment. So until next time, thank you for watching.